you to fly, Zen. You get your own breakfast. I give you your breakfast now. Giving Zen his breakfast. We managed to mostly get it in the pots after it's out the tins. And we give him healthy food too. Because he's part of us. Our fields are entangled. Our rainbow electromagnetic fields are entangled. Let's put, give you your clean bowl now. We're getting better at washing up all the bowls. There's your biscuits. The house isn't too bad either. We got all our nuts. Bit dark. Got all our nuts in their jars. We did them yesterday. We're on our lunar living autumn equinox retreat. That's one of the onions we grew from the onions that sprouted. Not very big, but they kind of grew. And this is the lemon balm moon water, which we're going to have first thing. We normally have our lemon honey first thing, but we're not going to put any honey in it either. We're trying to wean down our sugar. But it's not looking too bad, the kitchen, at all. So we've just finished our full, super full moon in Virgo meditation. Where we, um, and it was very helpful and insightful for us. We moved back in here last night to sleep. I'm sure we'll be back in the bedroom at some point soon. I don't know when we were last in there. The bedroom symbolises lower ages, you see. And I, I think we didn't want to go too young or low in ages so that we stayed motivated but also because of the fear that if we got too young, we might end up in a scenario that put us back in the psych ward again. And that wouldn't be conducive or productive to our mental health and our healing process. So we're attempting to journal our cards, but it's not quite happening yet. We did this reading, tried to do it with the pendulum, but the pendulum didn't work. But I think that's because of our broken collarbone. Because the right hand gives energy... And the left hand receives energy, but they probably both do both, really, because everything is just everything. We won't go into that confusing. But yeah, it doesn't always work for us, and it wasn't working. Um, and so we did have the inner child cards, but we weren't meant to do them. So we're using the witch's companion and the goddess power because those are the ones we won with the book from Taria from Hidden Truth, which are these and these. And these just arrived the other day, which are amazing. And we thought it was a daily read, but I don't think it's a daily read. I think it's a um I I don't I think it's an autumn equinox read, a season read. And the seven blessings so we started here and this is the the scene, so it's kind of like you can use past, present, future, and all those things. But for us, this is the the scene, the aware, which represents the future for us. And then that's the unseen, the subconscious, because it, it's the phrase two steps forward, one step backwards, with the opposite. So you go two steps backwards and then one forwards. And this is the balancing point in the middle to connect the two. Um, and so that one, sacred unity which is the unseen, number 17, which equals eight. And then that's number seven, seven blessings of the, the of Eve. And Eve's kind of like Neve. And then 10 of pentacles. And 10 of pentacles, we're on the, what's the date today? 20 yesterday, 21st today. So the 10 of pentacles card that came out was fitting because tomorrow is the very last day that we're in the Ten of Pentacles energies. So, so that's great for the alignment. And then we move into a whole new season, which means if you go back to the quarter segment, we're moving out of the energies of the Princess and Page of... the Princess of Wands and the Ace of Wands. The Princess is also like the Page, into the Ace and Princess of Cups quarter, into Libra, is it Libra tomorrow or today? I think, yeah, it's Libra tomorrow. Um, and then into the moon energies for the 10 days of the Two of Swords, which is from September the 23rd to the 2nd, and the Queen of Swords energies. So that's great for us. And then these two, the, the therapy rooms really kind of, because these are our setups at the moment that have stayed here, that we're on, that really helps us. Um, and this is the book. So that's seven 
Journey of Eve, or whatever that card was, brought us to this. So this is one of the books that we're going to start reading out the introductions and the heart of yoga. So the subconscious puts all these things in different places for, for us to 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 then make join the dots and understand what they're for. Um, and so then we do the spectrum. So we haven't read those cards we just showed you, but this is the spectrum of what the energies were. So you have the nine of wands and the six of wands um, for the spectrum of the middle one. And then you had five, which is change in knowledge. So what was which was the top and which was the bottom? The left is the bottom and the right's the top. So the left's the bottom subconscious unseen and the top's the aware. So that's the same here. So knowledge was the subconscious, the bottom, and then the top was revelation, 29 light sea and then here the bottom was oops sorry ukulele oh sorry toe so this was the bottom unseen of the light pack and um the, we wanted to pull the next two of these because they all had the hertz numbers so there's only nine hertz nine ones of them in the pack and how many cards are in the pack there's a lot of cards in the pack why don't it say? It's not easy. I don't know, but it's normally about 40, at least 40 cards in the pack. So, yeah, all three Hertz ones came out. And that's what we, that's then what told us to do, because we have those Hertz from the Solfagio Tuning Fork set. And those were the Tuning Forks that we used on the Scorpio one, which we still need to put the details in. Um, but it's Tantra, Union of the Masculine and Feminine Energies, Union of Yin and Yang, balancing them out or as we put it, union and balancing out of the left and right vagus nerve. Um, the wanderer goes through every organ in the body. And then this was the scene, the top card, which is very fitting because we're on our self-disciplined, doing it live with the groups finished, but we're on our self-disciplined backwards in the morning and forwards in the evening of the sacred connections meditations and we're doing the soul shines during the day. They did all go out the window for I don't know how long yet, we haven't chased back um, because we just got re-traumatised and re-traumatised and went in it. But we're coming out of that now, which is good. And it was the subconscious last fight, hopefully, to put up a fight against changing the patterning. So that's where the 44 is fitting. And then the 888, because we were on the Lionsgate portal, and we're on 999 now. But guess what? The tip true 888 is going to be on the between the 8th and the 26th of August with the balancing point being the 17th of 20, 24. So we've got four years and you get the 8-8 eight, eight portal. But then this card fully popped out, jumped out at us. Um, they're so beautiful. So yeah, this card fully jumped out at us and it led us to, it's about the scent, perfume of Sevilla. So it's about your nose and smelling, and it talks about nose and smelling, and 12 is the number for complex stability, so we're getting to that complex stability, even though we're working with the moon cycles of 13, um, because that Scorpio reading that we did the other day with the dreams of Gaia Tarot, um, it talked about all the senses, but it missed out the smell sense, and smell is basically one of our intuitive, all of our gifts, we, we work with all the senses, but smell is a super strong one, although it hasn't been lately, but it used to be. So... Those were those connections that we wanted to do, say, write, read, whatever. We've been listening to our music throughout the night, um, which means we don't turn off the Wi-Fi. But we could download it and turn off the Wi-Fi. Oh, that's good for future reference, isn't it? Um, and then this morning, so we were listening to our Lunar Living, because we are on the Lunar Living um, Soul Inquiry. So... With our systems that was for like general everyday stuff, we put our we print out our soul shine stuff and put them up there. This one, what's in that one? Oh, that's the Lee Harris energy um, stuff. That's the extra ones. So that's got the trauma day and the global sound healing day in. And this one's our astrology and lunar living. So we kind of sort it out in in these. So got the astrology at the front now and we've started changing colour because we're going to leave be leaving lunar living soon um but yeah these are like the worksheets for each one so that's like leo that was the pisces full moon leo new moon virgo 
moon, salt, new moon. And so because we're on the super Virgo new moon energies at the moment, even though it was on Thursday, they last a while. And and we're on the autumn equinox. It's bringing in the new moon energies with the change of seasons energies. And, and so we've watched the super full moon meditation that we did six months ago, about three weeks after we left the psych ward, and we're just understanding it so much better. It's just amazing. Um, yeah, so that's the that's the update. Um, things are progressing. Awareness and connections are coming. We've got this out. We're going to do some more creating and stuff today. We might... I'm hoping... We've got to do our meditations first, but we've caught up with most of them. I'm hoping that we'll get the, this stuff sorted and we may even get it up onto the ceiling because once we get it up onto the ceiling, then we can progress on with the bed. But we don't think this is doing going to last if it's kind of unsticking there a bit now. When we're laying on it, it might unstick. So then we thought about putting the duct tape in between. But if we put the duct tape in between, then we're not the bed won't be able to breathe and we'll sweat. So then we thought it's not quite wider than that but we thought i don't know if it needs to be wider than that we thought we could stick that stuff onto the duct tape and put the duct tape on the bed and then you still got the gaps that will stick to the duct tape better and the duct tape will stick to the bed better and if the duct tape doesn't stick to the bed better we might be able to sew it into the bed because the duct tape's more fabric than that and that just splits so that's where our thinking is with that at the moment we don't really have anyone to rebound these ideas off although our gardener lady's good let's sew you the garden and so much better so yeah the garden's coming on there i think we've shown you the the, the chamomile lawn so we can get chamomile tea we give that bit of a garden not a garden a water we even slightly pruned the plants a bit not that we know what we're doing so yeah that's great we can get we can have the rock guard herb gardens one for this morning light one for the evening light and then one back here um yes yeah, so this has got her energies done in it oh my knee's hurting we'll be um so yeah she cut back here as well so this is where the go in the shade we've got to finish getting all that done all of that's going to get cleared so the water tank can get tucked away in the corner this can get moved out and then hopefully i don't know we've got to do research but gonna get the straw hay but straw bales or hay bales one of them you can plant in so all of that's going to get ripped out and have hay bales along there for food hay bales or something i don't know food along there i look it's so cute um, and then all this is going to get ripped out. Um, that'll get put back. And we've got to move all that soil down the front, but that's all got cleared down there. So, yeah, we're going to be very self-sufficient on the food as well. Um, it's all coming together. A bit of sun gazing before we go. Bye-bye.